you can see, hands are fully trapped. Fingers trapped. Pretty cool. Fingers going. And we can do so many kinds of interesting things with it. So this is how you use finger hand tracking and inside out body tracking on PC VR with virtual desktop. So what are you going to need? You're going to need a Quest headset and you're going to need hands and fingers, preferably 10 fingers. You also need a PC that can play PC VR that has wireless support and you're going to need virtual desktop. You can use ALVR for hand tracking, but virtual desktop is a lot easier to use. So first step, let's go adjust your meta settings. Go to your MetaQuest settings, then go to movement tracking, and make sure hand and body tracking is on. And you can turn on automatically switch if you want. That means when you put down your controllers, it will switch to hand tracking or you can turn on double tap controllers for hand tracking. So that means if you double tap your controllers together like this, it'll turn into hand tracking. Pretty nifty. So you can choose what method you want to use as long as your hand and body tracking is on. The other method is to go to your menu here and then here you can turn on hand tracking. So you click and it becomes hand tracking. So make sure your lenses are clean. You want to have clean lenses and make sure you have enough lighting to track your hands properly. If not, it's not going to work. So clean your lenses and have good lighting. So when you're in VR, launch VD settings, virtual desktop settings. Go to the streaming tab here and turn on forward tracking data to PC. Press yes. So to use hand tracking and finger tracking, you turn on emulate index controllers. And if you want to use full body tracking, you turn on well, inside out full body tracking, it's not really full body tracking. You turn on emulate Steam VR Vive trackers for partial full body tracking. That's what I would call it. And then in input, make sure hand tracking is on. So launch virtual desktop streamer settings, double click on this. And in the streamer settings, make sure your runtime is set on Steam VR because you need to run in Steam VR. Okay, you minimize or close this. Now bring up the VD menu, press this. Okay, let's let's go into Steam VR first so we can check the settings. So right click on Steam VR and then launch settings. And then in Steam VR settings, go to startup shutdown and manage add-ons. Make sure the only thing running is virtual desktop streamer. So close off everything else off. Only this one is running on. And re restart Steam VR. Right. So when you're in Steam VR, you notice your controllers are Valve Index controllers. So that means it's correct. If there are any other controllers like Quest controllers, then it's wrong. It has to be Valve Index controllers. That's the way hand tracking works in Virtual Desktop. So you notice I turned on full body tracking. You can see my legs have trackers too. It's not going to track your legs. It's IOBT, which is like inside our body tracking. So it estimates where your legs are. So you see when I move my legs, it's not really moving completely. So it just estimates where your legs are. But upper body is fully tracked. So elbows tracked. It's just that below your waist, it's estimated tracking. Okay, so. Let's go to Steam VR Home. That's where you can test everything. Let's launch Steam VR Home. So activate hand tracking. For me, I use the double tap feature. So I'm going to double tap my controllers like this. And then put them down. And now we have hand tracking. So you can see, the hands are fully tracked. Fingers tracked. Pretty cool. You can even splay your fingers, look. Nice, right? Good feature. Play a bit more on my fingers. Very pretty, pretty accurate if you ask me. Hand tracking stuff. Feels like, almost feels like natural hand tracking. And it's, the latency is not terrible. It's okay. It's usable for sure. Look, you can do this. Oops. <laughs> so if you're using Quest, you might accidentally turn on the menu by mistake. 
you tap your two fingers together like this, that brings up the menu. And the left hand brings up this menu. So to use the index trigger in hand tracking, push your finger like this, like you normally hold a controller. And then squeeze the trigger finger like this. Let's pick index trigger. So let's say I click here. So I can click like this. Get index trigger. And then I can also scroll up and down like this. And to use your grip button, you squeeze the bottom three like you normally would on the controller. Bottom three triggers like this. So that's the grip trigger. So let's gonna grab this item. Grip trigger. Oop, almost dropped you there. So grip trigger, bottom three. And index trigger to select items like this. Grip trigger, index trigger. Same for left hand. So grip trigger. Okay. So we're in VR chat now. So first things first, let's calibrate our full body tracking. So press the menu button, this one, and then go to calibrate FBT. So you see there are uh, balls here. That's where your hands and your trackers are. You see the ones on the legs? I move around, you see the leg ones? Yeah. So you want to put your body where the lines are matching and then press the index trigger to calibrate. Here we go. So, like I said, this is not real full body tracking, it's just an estimation. So, if I bend my legs like this, it will follow an estimation of where my legs are. So, if I sit down, or like this, you see, it's not, it's not accurate, but it estimates where my legs are. So, now I can tell that I'm sitting down, which is interesting. Once again, if you lift your legs up, it's not going to do anything. It's an estimation of where your legs are. So don't get confused. This is not real full body tracking. It's IOBT, inside out body tracking. Okay, next up, finger tracking. So I'm going to activate hand tracking. So yeah, you can see hand tracking is already working. Got my fingers going. I can go do this. <laughs> this. And the latency is okay. So you can also use pass-through with hand tracking and that's like a whole new layer of things you can do. So it it's a bit trippy to see two of your hands layered over each other. I mean you can adjust the settings to make it like bigger or match exactly your hands. But you can do so many kinds of interesting things with it. Like let's say you go to grab real life items and you can see your hands pulling stuff like this. And you can see like physics working with hand tracking and pass-through is like a new layer of VR and AR so that like, you can interact with like real life items with your hands like this and oh, I'm sorry and virtual hands too 
it adds a whole new layer of like adding virtual objects and real life objects into your real world. So if you want to customize which trackers you're using, you can download this body tracking configurator by Dentex. So I'll put the link in the description. You can go to the latest release and then you can download the configurator here and then launch it with 7-zip. And if you open it, you might get a virus warning. Just ignore it. It's fake, false. Just press run anyway. And here you can choose which configurator you want to activate. So let's say you want a head join, you can turn it on, the neck join. So you have so many options here. You want a left foot ankle join, you can turn that on. Or if you just want upper body with hip, just press here, presets, upper body only, elbows only. Or you can reset everything to default. You can also move it further or closer if you like. All customizable here. I'm going to put it on default for me right now and then make sure you press apply and press OK. Also make sure Steam VR is not running while you're doing this. Close everything before you do this. Okay.